Okay, the parametric equation, uh, we're going to find dy by dx, so we need to find dy by dt. dy by dt equals uh, 2 root 3, sorry, minus 2 root 3 sine 2t. And dx by dt equals uh, minus 2 sine t. So divide that, the minus 2 cancels with the minus 2. And it's tempting to think that sine t will cancel with sine t, but it won't. So we get that. Uh, now we might write sine 2t as 2 sine t cos t. Um, and if we did, we'd end up with the answer being dy by dx equals, so that's the top is root 3 times 2 sine t cos t, the sine t cancels, so that I think is root 2 root 3 cos t. Uh, but you didn't really have to do that, they don't tell you to. Right, now we're now told that p lies on c where t equals that, and l is a normal, so we've got dy by dx, we can find the gradient then, t is 2 thirds of pi, the cosine of 2 thirds of pi, uh, the cosine of 2 thirds of pi, I reckon that gives us, um, crikey, 2 thirds of pi, well, let me just write this down, um, Got the gradient is a half, I think. So it's root three. Yeah. Uh, you just chuck that into a calculator rather than panicking in your head like I just did. Um, is that right? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, negative, negative, idiot. Cosine is negative over there, so minus root 3. So that means that the gradient, uh, it's a normal that we're looking at. So if I now go over to the left-hand side here for part B, the equation is y equals gradient, you could write that as root 3 over 3 if you like, x plus c, and we're told it goes through, uh, what does it go through? Okay, we're told that t is 2 pi by 3, so if t is 2 pi by 3, you can find the value of x, x equals um, minus 2 times a half, so x equals minus 1, and y at that point equals well, two, 4 pi by 3 is, um, I'm just going to convert that to degrees because I'm a bit rubbish here, 2 pi by 3 is 120, so 240 degrees, which I think is the same as 120, so that's all right. So we get y equals, I think, minus root 3, is that right? Over 2. Because we, you know, the half. Right, so we end up with minus root 3 over 2 equals root 3 over 3 times minus 1 plus constant. Notice I've changed the 1 over root 3 to root 3 over 3, rationalising the denominator. That's just so I've got, well, just so, I don't know why I did that, just said I would do. Um, so now we take that over to the other side to get that this constant equals, uh, oh crikey, root 3 over 6 then. Minus root 3 over 6. Yeah, minus root 3 over 6. Um, so the equation is um, this. Uh, putting everything over a common denominator gives that. Multiplying everything by 6 gives us that. If you kept up with what I've done, I've just basically rearranged this. Uh, okay, the answer I'm aiming for doesn't involve this rationalising the denominator bit. So, divide everything now by root 3. <laughs> We've got um, c is now minus 1. Divide, divide everything by root 3, we get 6 over root 3 here, 2x plus minus 1. So let me see what I get there. 2x, 6 over root 3, y, uh, minus 1 equals 0. Now this middle bit doesn't look right. Multiply top and bottom by root 3 though. And you see that the 3 cancels with the 6 to make 2, which is what we're aiming for in the question.
So that does give the right answer. That's just as well because that could have been a bit of a mess. Now we've got here a curve. The line L intersects the curve at the point Q. Find the exact coordinates of Q. Uh, you must clearly show how your tenure answers. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, so the usual simultaneous equations question. We've got two equations now. This one here. And this one here, and I'm going to substitute the values of x into 1 just to get the values of t. So we get x is 2 cos t. So we get 4 cos t. y is root 3 cos 2t. So minus root 3 times root times the root 3. What I'm doing here is I'm substituting this value here into y here. So root 3 times the root 3 gives 3. So 6 cos 2t, I think. 6 cos 2t uh, minus 1 equals 0 and now we need to use the identity here to get something like I'll take everything over to the other side so we've got positives we end up with 6 times 2 cos squared t minus 1 that's the identity for cos 2t um, which we're using here um, minus 4 cos t. I've basically changed all the signs around plus 1 equals 0 and I think we might be able to factorise this when we expand. So if we expand that we get 12 there. So I'll we'll, we'll write it out. We get 12 cos squared t uh, blah, blah, minus 4 cos t. Careful with the last bit. Minus 6 and plus 1 is minus 5 equals 0 and we should be able to factorise that yeah, 6 cos t minus 5 times 2 cos t plus 1. Let's check whether that's right. Yeah, minus 10 plus 6 to give me minus 4, so that's right. Uh, so we end up with that, and then we know the two values of t that we get from that are, just whipping this into a calculator, cos t equals a half. Mm -hmm. and cos t equals 5 sixths now cos t equals a half um, we've just had a value did I say a half? It was minus half, yeah minus half idiot, cos t equals minus half we've just had that was actually the value at 2 pi by 3 um, so the other point is this so the two solutions we've got, this solution here, cos t equals minus half, is equal to t being 2 pi by 3. So we've already used that, that's the first solution. The second solution, cos t equals 5 pi by 6. So chuck that now uh, into, into the into the, 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 the parametrics, we get 2 cos t, so 10 over 6. And y is root 3 cos 2t. Um, just whip that into a, into a machine here. 7 18 root 3. So we get that as the answer.